Today we're going to look at how to build a tree map chart in Microsoft Excel. So we have a data set here with our primary category in the first column, our actual items in the second, and then the values in that third column. So to build the chart, we're just going to select our data and then under the insert tab, we're going to find our tree map chart, which is right here. And we'll go ahead and insert that. Now we can look at some different options. The first of all, we can change some quick visual options from the styles right here. And so when you find the style that you like, you can go ahead and select that. Then we can do stuff like adjust the chart title here. And we can say items sold. And then we can also insert, and then we can also change other elements over here. And for example, we can change the data label options if we want to add, for example, the value. And you can pick different options here as far as how you want to show those values. So you can put a new line and so forth. It gives you the different options there. Or if you want to hide those again, you can uncheck value. Another option you can do is if we right click here and format data series, you can determine if you want this to be actually up at top instead of kind of within that section. Or you can go to none if you just want to keep it more simplistic like that. So let's go ahead and go with banner for now. And then what you can see here is that each item is represented in size corresponding to the value. So let's go ahead and look at a slightly more complicated one. This one we're including a category. And so a tree map isn't necessarily the best option in this regard, but we'll show you how it is set up. And so if we go to insert and then tree map here, you can see that it is still working, but however, you cannot see the category breakdown. That's not an option available. And so while it is split here by beverage and then our food items and the same thing here, our beverages are up top and our food items are down below. There's no way to get that label there. And so you may want to go with something other like a sunburst chart or something like that that allows you to see that multiple breakdown. 